How many? Alright guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to drive vehicles inside Warzone. And this is actually more complicated than you think. It's not just, oh, I'm going to get in the car and then just drive around because it's just that simple. There's also a few things that you actually need to know about driving a car and things you may not of known in the first place. So the first thing you want to do is go to the options and go all the way to controller and right here it says vehicle camera recenter. You want to make sure you have this disabled and if you have it enabled what this does is when you're driving a car and you're looking around all of a sudden it just goes like this when you don't want it to. Now if you have it disabled you can see right here if you press the left stick it'll automatically do that for you. You don't want it to do it on its own because there's going to be times where you need to look around and look behind you but the game just forces you to look straight so make sure you have it disabled and when you're driving you can look behind you and continue to drive at the same time to make sure that you can dodge bullets and other things like that another thing you want to do while you're driving is to make sure you're utilizing the handbrake so right now it says a or rt is to use my handbrake and this is extremely important when you're turning around so if i wanted to make a complete 180 you would drive and then hold the handbrake button and move to the left or the right and it would look like this you would do a nice 180 super fast and it's an extremely sharp turn and you could just do donuts or whatever to get out of places now if you don't do that this is what it would look like if i'm driving completely around you see how wide that is? But if you use the handbrake, your turning is super sharp. So make sure when you're in close range situations and you need to get past things, use that handbrake to be able to escape out of places. You also got to make sure to switch seats at the right time. So let's just say I'm riding up on people, right? And they're going to shoot me straight in the face right here. You want to make sure you're swapping your seats multiple times and then you can get back in the driver position so that they stop shooting at you because they know you're not in the driver's seat anymore you can switch back and be able to kill those people so that's pretty much the things that you should definitely know instead of just holding the drive button and moving around i'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory but now we're going to go to a helicopter and i'm going to teach you how you should be using the helicopter to drive all right so right now i'm in the helicopter and there's a few buttons that you need to know First, you gotta make sure you know what a flare is. So if it says right here, A or RT is the flare. The flare is useful for when you're getting targeted by a missile. So if a missile locks and then it shoots, you don't wanna use the flare yet because it won't work. You wanna make sure that the missile shoots and on your screen it says missile incoming. And once it says incoming and it's about to hit your helicopter, use the flare and the missile will go away. But you gotta time this right because if you do not time it right, then the missile will hit you and your helicopter will get destroyed or you could jump out right in time but if you use the flare correctly you won't need to jump out of the helicopter on top of that there's a lot of people who try to get helicopter kills by uh, crushing their opponent but they usually start crashing and they blow up all the time so i used to do this a lot when i tried using choppers in rebirth and the main way to beat this is to know that if you're if you have very low speed, you're not going to blow up the chopper when you touch things. So look. I'm at low speed. I'm not using the chopper extremely fast. And I'm able to touch a bunch of things. And my chopper is not getting blown up. So if I go extremely fast, like if I'm chasing somebody. And I want to knock them. I go slow. And then I can touch them. And the chopper will not blow up. But if I'm going extremely fast. And then I touch something. This is what happen. Where that was that was not too fast. If I go even faster, if I'm chasing somebody. Okay, so I destroyed the chopper and I tested a few things out too. 
Uh, one of the things that I just mentioned about going really slow. When I played Rebirth, if I went really fast and touched one thing, the whole entire chopper blew up, no matter what health it had. But right now in Vanguard, it looks like I was at full speed. Airplane. I was at full speed and I crashed into something and the chopper still did not blow up. So in Vanguard, if you use choppers at full speed, it will not blow up. But if you're playing Rebirth, make sure that you're slowing down right before you hit those people. And also make sure to swap seats if you are getting shot at from other people. Because if they shoot at you too long and you're in the same exact position, it'll be so much easier for them to kill you while you're in the driver's seat of the chopper. Also, I do want to say that I'm live every single day on Twitch. This is pretty much where I get my gameplays from that you see throughout this video. So just search up on Twitch, the underscore fifth underscore seal, or you can check the description below and click on the link right there. Do not be afraid to check out the other Sense members. If you go to my channels right here, go down here. I do have my second channel here, the sixth seal, where I try to teach you how to hit algorithm. And I got the Sense members right down here if you guys are interested in more Rebirth content from the Sense team. Well, I like the one that reminds me of she's better than I like people. Oh, I like people too. 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 I'm not even that good, so I don't know if I'm going to do it. No, how do I not make that fucker dumb? I'm just in space. Whoa, that's a fucker. I am hiding. Whoa, whoa, there's so many people that are running after me. Guys, basement. Where is it? How do I get the basement? It's the bottom floor basement. Come on. I'm so sad right now, bro. This is what happened. What? I got my heart broken. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here in Oh, by the third person? Or? Ah, that's like you really thought. <laughs> there, there's nobody oh, there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that was my teammate. <gasps> I'm going There's one more left, he's selfing. Yeah, Yo, you did you kill that guy? I'm gonna jump. Try to catch me when I jump. Sniper right here, sniper right here. Keep pushing me. I'm here to do it. Hey yo. I'm gonna go straight away. Mm. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I think look, I got finished. Oh, there's still guys up on the hill. I wanna push them. Yeah, I could get some views from them. They're all gonna have to move now, right? So this is like the best time to catch them all. Gotta catch if, I got a mouse, if I got a mouse, that would be sick. I got a mouse. Right here. Uh, I only had a mouse. In this building, there's a kid. Oh, I'm watching these kids jump up, though. 
I'm up in the middle. How many? So many on me. There's so many on me right here. No. That sucks. You guys got this. Come on, make a wish, kid. Oh man, Jesus. No.